Tell us just a, a little bit about what you suffered with and what it was like and what happened last night and what it's meant to you. Okay. So for the last 10 years or so, I've, um, I've had extreme problems with my digestive system. And about seven years ago, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, which um, is kind of like Crohn's disease, um, if any of you know what that is. But basically, you're your colon gets extremely inflamed and the entire thing just gets full of sores and it bleeds excessively. And I've had several times in my life where I've nearly died just from blood loss and, um, and I've spent countless, countless times in the hospital receiving transfusions and injections and people, you know, doctors telling me you have to have your colon removed, you won't live unless you do this. And um, I hadn't had a problem for the past couple years until recently, and it felt like I had failed um, in some capacity, that I had lost some freedom that I had found for a while, and that I must have done something or messed up in some way to have to be reliving this horror again. And... Um, so over the past month and a half, it's, it's um, just been spiraling out of control to where, you know, I go 20 to 30 times a day. And um, there's a lot of achiness with that. And, and then also, aside from the, from the physical, just the emotional um, letdown and the, and the grief that, that comes with that. And, so I came here um, from Portland, so I drove on oh <laughs> I drove on um, on Wednesday, got up in the morning, and I drove for almost eight hours <laughs> to come here. This is my second time at Bethel, and I just I wanted a healing so badly, and i I didn't want to put God in a box, and i I knew that he had intentions of healing me. I just didn't know when. And I was praying um, for the past couple days for, for a new colon. I didn't want the old one anymore. <laughs> I didn't want him to heal the one I had um, because there's a lot of icky history with that one. <laughs> and um, so I, I told him, I said, I know in heaven there is, there is a new organ waiting for me and, um, that's healthy and perfect. And I want it now. <laughs> I don't want to wait until I see you again to have it. I want it now. And um, so last night when um, they were giving words of knowledge, I just said, Lord, please, if somebody could just say all sort of colitis, that just would make my heart leap. <laughs> and um, the girl who was organizing it yesterday, she said, you know, if you hear your disease, you you don't even give it 10 seconds. And there was a girl, um, a ministry student, who said ulcerative colitis, and I was starting to feel heavy in my soul because no one was saying it. And I can't tell you how fast they jumped up. <laughs> and they said, that, oh my God, that is mine. And I yelled it, and I, <laughs> and I found her. And there was a group of really beautiful, sweet girls who were praying for me, and they just said so many wonderful things. And I and I was shaking, and I was crying, and, I, and she said, open your eyes, how do you feel? And the room was glowing. <laughs> and I could, it felt like there were a hundred lights on me. And um, I didn't feel a heat necessarily, but I just, I said, I trust that, Lord, you've healed me, um, that I came here for healing, and you met me here, <laughs> and, um, and you gave me my heart's desire here. And I, and I left, and I hugged them, and I, a couple minutes later, I was just standing, and I felt so in awe, and I just felt so much joy, because I felt like I had been given a new life. And, um, and I felt God say to me, go to the bathroom. <laughs> go, go see what I've done for you. And I... <laughs> And so I went, and there was nothing. <laughs> and I'll 
although um, this might be a little bit more information that you want. I only went three times today. <laughs> And it was perfectly normal. <laughs> Yay, God! <laughs> Yay, God! Um, yesterday, I was sitting there, and the young man asked me if I needed prayer for anything, and I said, well, no, and he pointed at my glasses. And I thought, well, yeah, I've got old eyes. I'm, not that I'm old or anything. No. But, <laughs> and... Um, I said that would be great. So he prayed for me, and uh, um, I I said it incorrectly to you yesterday. I actually have a large print, and I do use my reading glasses with, with your them, large with print. my large print, and okay. I have for about ten years at least. And um, I borrowed my friend's, my young friend's Bible, normal Bible, normal Bible. Opened it up, and I could read it. Yeah, God. <laughs> How long has it been since you've been able to do that? 10, 12 years? 10, 12 years, yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory. Thank you, Eileen.